In today's video, we're going to show you how to disassemble a suspension system on a Yaris. Now on the Mark 1 Yaris, they are all the same apart from 4x4. If you need to change your springs, shocks, top mounts or bump stops, this is the video for you. Alright, here's a very, very hectic way of showing you of everything you need. Some sockets and a socket set to go with it, a breaker bar, a screwdriver, a wire brush because no doubt it's going to be rusty. Set of spring compressors, mine have turned rusty, which is quite nice. Some penetrating oil, a jack stands, jack, torque wrench, and a set of spanners. And if I've missed anything else, now is the time to edit in bread. All right, awesome. Let's get started. Crack your nuts and jack up the car. Remove your wheels and install the jack stands under the car. Alright, so next step is to take off a bolt that's there behind the shock that holds the, the brake line and the ABS line in or in the case of me, take the zip tie off Take the lower strut bolts off Loosen the strut top bolts. Hold the strut up whilst taking the last strut up bolt off. Take the strut out whilst navigating through the brake lines and ABS lines. Okay, now you want to remove the cap on the top of the top hat. Once you've got access to that top 17mm nut, well it's 17mm for me, put your spring compressors on and then compress the spring. Okay, I only need one spring compressor there, so make sure your spring is loose and it's moving back and forward and it's not going to spring off and everything's not under tension. So, we're going to impact this 70mm bolt off.
So when you come to actually installing these back on, you'll see that, especially on these Yaris springs here, there is a, where the spring ends, has a little seat on the shock. So here on the shock, if you look at it, if we get it into the right the sun, you can see there's a little indent there, and that's where the spring will sit, in like that. And if that's not sitting in there, it can lead to some pretty funky stuff. But yeah, installation is the reverse of the removal. Remember and compress those springs so you can get the top mount back on. Yes, I did forget that bit, and I did put it back on. Now for the rear. Crack your nuts and jack up the car. Remove your wheels and put the car on the jack stands. Alright, now it's just a case of getting these bolts off here on the bottom of the shocks. One over there as well. And then once you've got them off, pull down on the axle beam, put in your breaker bar there, 
then you can pull out the spring. It's as easy as that. And that's how you remove the springs. <laughs> I know for people, if you have the original springs in, not like Lauren springs like I do, you might need to push down on the actual beam to get it to come out, but it should come out. And if it's that much of a problem, put your spring compressors on it and compress the spring down. If your next job is to replace the strut top mounts or anything like that, just simply go inside the car, to the back of the car, uh, Flap down your seat so it's a bit better access, coming through the boot if you want. And um, take these little corner caps off and these, these are the top two bolts for the top of the strut. Just take them off and then your strut will fall through and you'll get access to your top mounts. And you'll be able to change your strut out. As you can see, these are pretty new because I installed them not that long ago. You're wondering which way the spring's going. Right and sits normally. Then that just gets placed in. Remember and put your top caps on. Right and goes up the way like that. All right, and just like that, you've installed some springs, shock absorbers, strut top mounts, whatever you wanted onto your Yaris. Now all the Mark I Yaris's are the same, uh, same setup, apart from the 4x4 ones. Got no clue how they work, never seen one before. But uh, yeah, no, they, they were pretty cool actually. I've got a few updated things for my subscribers that I need to film, like the MR2. I've been doing a lot of work on the MR2. Um, it's had a lot of work done to it in 2020, so I need to update all that because I have lots of footage and I have not been bothered to edit it because it's all over the place and it's horrible and then I need to film the other thing I've done to it. There's also another little something but uh, I'll keep that a wee secret but uh, yeah. So anyways, I hope that helped. Um, just make sure it's all good. Also when you install springs uh, on any car or anything like that, they take a little bit of time to actually seat in so your car will get slightly lower. But just give it a couple of weeks. Make sure you talk up all your bolts as well. Um, that's something I did off camera. And last importantly thing is to go up for an easy drive. Just listen for any new noises, clunks or anything like that. Make sure it's it's all fine and dandy before you go onto the track and start track racing it. Because the last thing you want is the seat, like the spring to not be seated properly and it might just ping out. So I would suggest like driving it around a car park or a very quiet street just 
full lock to other full lock just get it moving get the suspension moving go over a little bumpy road just nice and steady just kind of get your kind of confidence up right i better go put the number plate back on this because i'll forget about it and i have been forgetting about it but i left the tools out to specifically remind me anyways this camera's going to run out battery so i'm going to go my hair is a mess and i shall see you guys some other time yeah